Hello, hello, Pisces, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. If you hear any noise, they're building a house across the street. So please bear with me. Please, Universal Energies. These messages are for the last week of March, okay? Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, please bring forward three messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Okay, there we go. We got three. Lord, take charge with authority. You also have here, Mira Guardian. Take time to reflect. Summer, bask in joy and light. Bees and honey, milk and honey. All right, let's see what we have here. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward. Pisces. Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies. Spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward three messages for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward three messages. Strength, protection, standing up for yourself. Making pretend you have this in place, being grounded. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward. I need one more. Ten of Wands. Now I know why you need strength. You've been carrying everybody else's luggage. And that, and that luggage contains a lot of bullshit. Please, universal energies. There we go. All right. Here we go, Pisces. So in the recent past, letting go of the burdens. Listen, somebody put all their luggage on your back and said, sweetheart, can you please carry this? And, you know, time goes on. And you're like, well, what the fuck? Like, how much longer am I supposed to carry this? And they were like, well, until I balance out my situation what do you mean let's see what we have here please universal energy spirit guides ancestors okay seven of wands there's somebody here that's standing for this relationship they're standing by themselves you know this is something that took a lot out of you you know, um, with the page of pentacles, this is having to put something in order, having to write a list out for something. For me, when I see this card, I immediately think of a lot of manual labor. You know, somebody made you work for this relationship. And let me tell you something. They had you working your ass off by yourself, okay? By yourself with the seven of wands. Um, you also have here the three of cups, you know, maybe, maybe, you let me see why is this here three of cups more than two people in the equation family friends third party energy okay why is the three of cups here three of cups why is it here three of cups okay there was somebody here who was kind of like non-committal why because listen there were they were like they're like close to like a teenager you know, they're coming in very unstable, kind of, you know, offering you maybe like 30 minutes of passionate love. And then they're like good to go out. They kind of go in and out whenever they're ready, you know. Why is the 10 of wands here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Wow. Listen, this is something that had you going through a mental meltdown. 
Okay, this is biting your nails at night. This is not being able to sleep. This is going through a lot of anxiety. There was something that you were carrying around. There was something that you discovered while you were potentially spying on somebody. And now you want to be honest with them and tell them exactly what you think, you know? Some of you are like, I've been watching you, mf -er. I've been watching you. Okay, you're watching somebody. You you drop those burdens because you're like, you know what? I am so done with the fuckery, you know? The star. Listen, it is time to get rid of the people that you no longer need in your life. Sometimes we tend to hold on to even the most fucked up situations because we're like, Holding on, holding on just to everything. Listen, sometimes you have to hold on to your own dreams. Sometimes you have to have conversations with the universe by yourself. Because you know what? Because actually you were born alone. You know, and even though you're not alone, alone in the world, because we are never alone, you know, our spiritual beings are never alone. But with the um, star card here, some of you, you know, this is wishes for some of you being granted by the universe. This is, you know, um, talking to the universe. Ask for the things that you want right now. You know, ask for them. Ask for them. Why is the six of pentacles here? Six of pentacles. The emperor. Listen, some of you are dealing with somebody who is like their way or the fucking highway. It's like, you know what? It's either going to be my way or nobody's way, you know? And they could be somebody that is just like, you know, always making sure that things get done at a certain, in a certain way. They are powerful enough to, to do that, you know? Why is the emperor here? I always see the emperor... As somebody who's a little controlling. Yeah, somebody's walking away. Some of you walked away from this person with the eight of cups. Some of you are walking away from this person. You're no longer wanting to deal with this person. You know, this person, I feel they put you in a third party relationship where, you know, um, they just did all these sorts of things. They made you carry the burden. They made you do all the work in this relationship while they could put, maybe potentially hung out with their friends or, you know, they spent time at work or whatever the case was. You know, but some of you are like, you know what? You're no longer doing this to me. I am off to a better place. I am off to better ground. I think the time to abandon ship is actually here. It's arrived. You know, if you want to go around giving to two people, that's fine with me, but I'm not putting up with that. Um, why is the eight of cups here? Please universal energies, eight of cups. Why is it here? Eight of cups. Why is it here? Wow, this is a lot. This is way, holy moly. Ten of Wands. Okay, you get the Ten of Wands in this reading, not once but twice. I won't even pick it up, but it's here. Um, this is, you know what? Finally letting go of, of your burdens. Listen, there was another person here. Okay, there was a third party energy. Some of you are walking away from that. You're done with that. You realize that this person kind of left you out in the cold. They just, you know, um, they were, they could have been very deceptive, you know, with you. And, you know, it was like they, they made you look from the outside. You know, they made you look, do all these stupid things, you know. Um, you know, listen, with the death here and the king of swords, some of you are actually realizing that the end of the end has arrived. Um, I feel that with the death card here, some of you understand that the situation needs to change, that it can no longer stay like that. Whatever you decide, it's going to be a strong decision. Make your decisions be heard, okay? Make whatever it is that you need to do to, to be okay with you. Why don't you do it? Because I'm going to tell you, some of you will only get to a better place once you close chapter to this side of your life. Because I'm going to, here we go. 
you know, this is carrying a lot of burden. This is carrying a lot of fuckery that somebody was like, you know what, can you help me dispose of this? Can you hold this for me while I kind of think about things? No, fuck that. Don't, you know, don't let anybody put all their garbage on your back. Okay. So I hope that this was able to help you. Like I said, transformation and birth is here for some of you. Take advantage um, of that energy and listen, make whatever it is that you have to do. Make it come true with the star, you know. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces, and take care.